Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. Got the last two of the Gaming Greats figures that came in just yesterday, so finally getting around to reviewing these, and uh, we're taking on the Shadow Stormtrooper first up, VC-194, and uh, I think this one's probably the one I'm probably excited about the most, just because I love this new Stormtrooper um, mold that they've been using recently with... Um, they're stormtroopers, obviously, but um, yeah, to get this guy from uh, the Force Force Unleashed is freaking awesome. I never did get the uh, sort of previous versions of of this one from like 2007, I want to say, maybe even 2008. No, I reckon it was 07. Um, so yeah, it's a long time coming. I'm really, really excited. Um, card art looks good, but uh, yeah, I'll be removing this one. Um, because yeah, I definitely want to open it, and uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the figure. All right, here is the Shadow Stormtrooper in all his glory. What a fantastic figure this is! Really, really cool. I'm really digging it a lot. I love the uh, I love the luminescent plastic that they've used, and just to sort of give you an idea, um, I'll get my phone torch. You can kind of you can just sort of see the arms, mid middle torso, and legs. Uh, yeah, they're molded in a sort of translucent plastic, so you get that sort of shine through. Um, pity they didn't do it with the helmet, because um, that would have been really, really cool, just to sort of see the the blue lines of the eyes and stuff sort of shining through. But I guess it's easier to print a black helmet and uh, paint on some blue eyes than it is to cover a clear mold in black and try and get it accurate with the eyes so understandable uh, he comes with the E11 standard E11 blaster and this uh, pulse rifle too I can never remember the names of these things used to be a time where I'd remember all that stuff all the little factoids and and names of blasters and where they were made and stuff but there's just so much information now that it's hard to Really hard to keep track of. So I'll just try and get him to hold it with both hands, but I won't worry about that right now. So yeah, overall it's you know it's the same stormtrooper. Um, you know, we got this one uh, a year or two ago. It's sort of just a st standard black stormtrooper, which was carded as a shadow stormtrooper as well. So, so yeah, two different types here, but both the same figure, just different, you know, obviously. Um, but yeah, this one was really cool too. So yeah, fantastic stuff, really digging it. Um, yeah, unlike that battle droid that I reviewed last week. Um, yeah, so far, we're, we're two out of three, two out of three good ones. Um, for the gaming greats, and uh, you know, I don't... I don't just I can't justify the price hike that they've had down here in Australia at least at Zing uh, 35 bucks a figure whereas you know vintage collection are usually anywhere between sort of 24 to 29 um, and even though that's hard to swallow but for the uh, scarcity of 3.75 inch these days you kind of justify the prices um, just because you know you don't have to buy many of them because there aren't that many of them released um, but yeah, 35 bucks, that's what we were paying for Black Series and still are paying for Black Series in some stores. So yeah, I managed to get these off of Amazon for under 20 bucks, so that was good. Um, yeah, big thanks to uh, Dave and Linda for, for letting me know that that was what was going on. And uh, yeah, glad, glad to add these to the uh, collection. So yeah, the high time for a close-up, looking pretty good. Articulation's great. You know, if you've all probably seen a Stormtrooper review in recent years, it's either been this one, this one, the standard Stormtrooper or the Remnant. Uh, they've all used the same mould, so yeah, they're all, all just super articulated, super fantastic figures, really nice sculpts. You know, as far as I'm concerned, they're definitive. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, plenty more to come. I just I feel like they could just put a stormtrooper out in every second wave, and they would sell well. So, hopefully, one day Hasbro will do exactly that because you can never have enough stormies. 
So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I would absolutely appreciate your input and any feedback. Um, yeah, follow me on social media. All the links are in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It would be awesome and you'll be my best friend forever. <laughs> All right. Back next video will be the Electro Stuff Purge Trooper. So stay tuned for that. And uh, until then, may the force be with you always.